Hi, historians. Welcome to another episode of Last Week in Review. This is the last episode of this year. It's kind of hard to believe it's gone by so fast. Not to get all nostalgic. Today's last episode is going to be about the Bill of Rights and the three branches of government and their jobs and what they do. So here we go. So the Constitution of the United States is a really impressive document. I mean, think about the longevity of this piece of paper. I mean, it started in 1787 and we still use it today. Now, there have been some modifications. There's been 27 amendments since its inception in 1787, but still, by and large, it's the same document and that's pretty impressive. So in order to protect the citizens, we came up with Bill of Rights, which were 10 civil liberties actually granted to the people to protect them from the overreaching arm of the federal government. All right, so first off, we're going to do the 30-second challenge. We're going to talk about the Bill of Rights and we're going to see if I can name all 10 of the Bill of Rights in under 30 seconds. So here we go. All right, my member was the freedom of speech, petition, press, assembly, and religion. A member of two is the right to bear arms. Amendment number three is protection of no courting of soldiers in your home. Amendment number four is no unreasonable search of seizures without probable cause. Amendment number five is rights to people accused of a crime. Amendment number six is rights of people on trial for a crime. Amendment number seven is for people on trial for a civil case. Amendment number eight is no cruel or unusual punishment, no excessive bail. Number nine is no or is rights kept by the people. And number ten is rights kept by the states. Yes! Yes, I got it in your face. Uh, basically, the framers of the Constitution wanted to strike a balance between too much power from the people, but also too much power from the central government. But the Constitution is also set up to protect us from the tyranny of the majority. So the whole idea of the framers was that they didn't want too much central power given to the federal government, but they also didn't want too much power given to the people. So they wanted to have something that would be functional and work, but also didn't want to give too much power to, to the people. So the government is broken down into three separate branches. We have the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. So the legislative branch, they're made up of Congress. Now, Congress is made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives, both of those. The Senate, as we talked about, is based off of equal representation, two senators per state, and the House of Representatives is based off of population. The more population, the more people you have living in your state, the more representatives you have in Congress. The main job of Congress is to make the laws. All right, they are a legislature. That's what legislatures do. They make laws. Second, the executive branch. The executive branch is made up of the president and the cabinet, so his basically group of advisors, like the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of State, um, etc. Their job is to enforce or execute or to carry out the laws. Lastly, we have the judicial branch. The judicial branch's main body is made up of the Supreme Court in which judges serve a lifetime sentence or <laughs> sentence. That makes it sound like it's a punishment. Um, you know, they have a lifetime term, I guess. Uh, so the only way they can get out is if they resign or if, you know, they die. The main job of the judicial branch is to interpret the laws. Those are the three branches. You need to know those for the essay question because the final is this week. It's Friday, which depending on what day you're watching this, it could be tomorrow if you're staying up late and cramming, which... Okay, I mean, I guess you're studying, you're not doing something else, so that's kind of a plus. Guys, thank you so much for watching this past semester, watching these video updates, even if you only watch for a couple minutes or if you actually use them to study. Thank you, I hope it helped. Uh, I'm planning on continuing doing these videos, so um, keep checking back for new updates. Um, good luck on the final, you're gonna do great, um, and I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys next year.